All right, so today we're doing 11-3, and we're still working with surface area, but now we're working with different types of solids. Rather than working with prisms and cylinders, we're working with pyramids and cones, okay? So look, today we're just working on pyramids. There is some vocab here, but the nice thing is that most of this vocab is the same as prisms, okay? A pyramid or a cone is still going to have a base, but it only has one base rather than two like a prism. So it has one base, and then the lateral surfaces, the lateral surfaces are all going to be triangles in a pyramid, okay? They're all going to be triangles, and those triangles all meet at the vertex of the pyramid. All right, so all these triangles going around the outside, those are the lateral faces, okay? The bottom here, the other polygon, that's the bottom. That's going to be your base. And then the vertex is where all those faces meet, okay? Now, in naming a pyramid, it's just like naming a prism. It's named according to what shape the base is. So in this case here, we have a hexagonal pyramid, all right? Okay, one thing that I want you to understand here on pyramids. This altitude they're pointing to, that is going from the vertex to the center of that base, that's perpendicular to that base. That is our height of the pyramid. That's our capital H, the height of that pyramid. Now, when we're working with surface area, that height actually is not what we need. What we need is called the slant height. The slant height. Now again, looking at this picture, that is a capital H because that's the height of the whole pyramid. But slant height, the variable for that is a script L. Okay? Slant height is a script L. And that is the height of the triangle, okay? It's the height of a triangle. Be careful, it is not, it's not one of these edges. It's not an edge. It's perpendicular to the base of the triangle, okay? That's our slant height. And one last piece that you're gonna need to understand is a regular pyramid. Now, real quick here, what is a regular polygon? Do you remember? Vocab from a long time ago, a regular polygon. No? What's an equilateral polygon? All the sides are congruent, okay. What's an equiangular polygon? All the angles are congruent, great. What's a regular polygon? All sides are congruent and all interior angles are congruent. That's what makes a regular polygon. So in a regular pyramid, in a regular pyramid, the base is a regular polygon. And, and in a regular pyramid, not only is the base gonna be a regular polygon, but the height that altitude drawn from the vertex to the base is gonna go to the center of that polygon, okay? That height is gonna be drawn right to the center of that polygon on our base. That's what makes that then a regular pyramid. The base is a regular polygon and the vertex is directly above the center of that polygon, okay? Questions? So what we actually want to do first is we want to do example two first. And we have a regular pyramid, a regular pyramid. So then what shape is the base of this guy? It's a square. All right, this is just like the pyramid we have in Giza. Okay, the pyramids in Giza are square pyramids. So, we have how many surfaces to this square pyramid? Five. Because it's a square on the bottom, 
Squares have four sides. That means there are going to be four triangles going around the lateral surface. And then you have the one side that's the base, the one uh, face that's the base. So there are five total surfaces. So we have a square. And we're going to add to that four triangles. And our triangles are actually congruent, are they not? Right, because it's a regular pyramid, therefore all the lateral surfaces are going to be congruent triangles. What's the height of our triangles? That height is going to be six. What's the base of our triangles? Five. What's the sides of our square? Five. Okay, and remember that six, that represented the slant height, right? Okay. So, finding our surface area, we need to take the area of a square. What is the area of a square? You could do base times height. Is there another way to do it? Side squared. S squared is also the area of a square. Okay, that also works. I need to add to that four triangles. One half base times height. Let's plug in what we have. So base times height for the square is 5 times 5 plus 4 times 1 half times the base of the triangle is 5. The height of the triangle is 6. And so we can now crunch some numbers here. So we got 25 plus 4 times 1 half is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 6 is 60. And so our surface area is then going to end up being 85 square meters. Then I have one more example for you. One more example for you. Looking over here, example number one. Look closely at example one. Do they give us everything we need outright? No, they do not give us the slant height. They give us the actual height of the pyramid. Okay, so that's why they have that triangle drawn in there. They're trying to lead us to how to get the answer. By the way, you have to do that if they give you the height of the pyramid. If you're trying to find surface area, you have to find the slant height. Let me show you what that might look like. Um, so you might, see how well I can draw. You might be given a pyramid. Looking like that. And if they sometimes will do this, they'll sometimes give you a height drawn like that. And they'll say that's whatever some number. I'm just going to call it H for now. Okay? So they give you that. If that's what they give you, you need to actually come in here and finish by drawing the triangle. Because you need that perpendicular height. And the only way to get that is to actually work on that right triangle right here, which is the height, and then that slant height, okay? So if they don't give you the triangle, you need to draw it in so that you can solve. Questions on that? All right, so then we need to find our slant height, and we're going to do that by using that yellow triangle they have. What is this length here, do you suppose? That is going to be 15. Because remember, that height is going to be drawn to the center of the square. And so that means halfway across is going to be half the length of one of those sides. So that's 15. And so to find our slant height, we need to take 15 squared plus 36.4 squared. That will equal our slant height squared. All right, so we crunch some numbers here. We get 225 plus 36.4 squared gives me 1,324.96. So 
So I need to add those up. That gives me 1,549.96. And I need to take the square root of both sides. So my slant height is approximately um, so approximately 39.3695. Now, this is a very important thing for you to understand right now. Okay? They didn't tell me what to round to. Okay? They didn't tell me anything like that. But looking at the problem, what can you assume I would be accepting? I would accept the first decimal place rounding, right, for my final answer, because they start me with decimals, so I can end with decimals. But you cannot round too early. If you round too early, you're going to get what's called rounding error in the end. <clears throat> so basically, you're using a rounded answer, and then you're multiplying by that or squaring that, and you're just compounding that, that rounding that you did. And so what I always want you to do is to round to at least four decimal places. You need to round out past what they ask you to, okay? Don't round to what they ask you to until the very end. What you don't have to do is actually type in or put in everything that they give you in the calculator. You don't actually have to write all that, but round it out to four decimal places at least. Okay, so our equation is going to be just like before. We have a square plus four triangles. So our surface area is going to be base times height plus four times one half base times height, which is 30 times 30 plus four times one half times the base of our triangles are what? Careful. We are now finding our surface area so we're now talking about these triangles here. They have a base of 30. And our height is what? Yeah, be careful. You're not talking about the height of the pyramid. We're talking about the slant height that we found. And so that's 39.3695. OK. And so we do some calculations here. 30 times 30 is 900, plus 4 times 1 half is 2. 2 times 30 is 60. And if I take 60 times 39.9695, uh, 39.3695, I get 2,362.17. And so my surface area is approximately, now again, look at your calculator. On your calculator, it only gives you two decimal points, two numbers behind the decimal point. So you know what? Give that. Okay, it stopped. It didn't keep going off the screen. Don't need to round it. It's still a rounded answer, but it's more exact if we just leave it as the two decimal places.